Hi, this video is about the assembly of my new acquisition, which is an Innov Antennas 18 element 70 Sems LFA Ultra Yagi. Um, I intend on using this to replace uh, my J Beam Parabeam, which I use portable uh, in the UK AC uh, 70 Sems contest. I already have an Innov Antennas Yagi, a 2 meter owl, and that works really well. Uh, this antenna is uh, 3.8 meters long. Uh, 2.1 kilos it's got a whisker under 18 dBi of forward gain and 38 dB uh, front to back ratio um, in of antennas uh, is owned and run by Justin G0 KSC and I'm sure you can find a lot of information on the web if you have a look around hope you enjoy the video so I chose this Yagi specifically uh, for its gain uh, dimensions and weight it's a lightweight Yagi uh, portable means I've got to push it up a mast, uh, often in a gale. And here you can see the uh, the parts that uh, arrived, the two boom sections, uh, a pack of bits to make up the uh, dipole and the uh, push-through boom elements, the reflector and the directors. Um, and the boom's already fitted with these um, through boom connectors you can see here. Um, so there's no clamps to add weight, literally there. Just push straight through and these are the, the bag of parts opened up so here we've got the uh, dipole element uh, the two trombone ends which slide in uh, to tune the antenna uh, center clamp uh, and some plastic connectors which are for clamping the ends of the dipole and two stainless bolts for connecting the dipole to the boom so fairly straightforward hopefully so the first job was to attach the front of the driven element to the main boom with that bolt in the insulated centre. And then it's just a case of putting a bolt to secure the second part of the element. And here you can see the plastic clamps just loose at the moment but ready to clamp on and hold that trombone tubing in place once the dipole has been tuned. And the instructions give uh, a 30 millimeter extension on the end of the driven element so i've set it to that to begin with although i did find when i built my two meter yagi uh, the suggested setting was spot on and here you can see the driven element complete and to get the best out of the yagi and to let it give its designed radiation pattern you do need to install a choke on the driven element and here's the inner antennas choke in position and here you can see how snug the choke is to the dipole centre. Once the quark splits, that becomes an active part of the antenna. So here you can see it's virtually horizontal across the width of the gap. And then it was just a case of adding the boom extension and all the elements. You might find if you're pushing an element through, it might resist a little bit. And sometimes it's best to try from either side. But they are a snug fit and once they're in place, they're not really going to move. But uh, easy to put together. So now it's all put together, it's just a case of getting it on the mast and checking the SWR across the 70 cents band and fingers crossed it'll be spot on. So here we are with the antenna temporarily mounted up uh, to see how well it tunes in. So here we are at the bottom of the SSB portion of 70 cents on low power, 5 watts and there's the SWR 1.01 and if we go up to the top end of the SSB section and again 1.01 and if I up the power to 50 watts 1.06 so tune in straight away that's on the 30 mil extensions as recommended on the instructions and if your interests uh, lay elsewhere in the 77 band I'll just show the other areas of the band so this is down at the very bottom 430 megahertz 1.14 swr which is still still good and here at 433 megahertz up in the uh, fm section again 1.07 that's perfectly acceptable it's back to very good and here in the the repeater input section again 1.15 low swr and finally we're way up in the satellite and tv section 
yeah, 1.3 so you could tune the ends of the trombone sliders to uh, to adapt for whichever part of the band you want but where I want to be it's full coverage of the SSB portion and more at a, a well, the rock bottom SWR so so success for the initial tune of the 18 element LFA. If you're thinking about buying or building a Innova Antennas LFA Yagi, hopefully you found this video useful. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. Bye now.